numbers. Um, so, just Mark, so just to be clear, you, you you want to know whether we have the funds in order to buy the land? Yes. Correct. And and can you give us a ballpark figure? Of well, we we, we can't need? really because as you know, that 0.8 acres is associated with waterfront, and it's it includes you know it's part right now of a parcel that includes the entire pond. Right. in that area so it needs to be an assessment what we can tell you is that um, the parcel that the town purchased um, at the back of the beach yeah. okay which is landlocked okay right. and like does this. not yeah. not have waterfront uh a few years ago we purchased that for what eighty eight thousand 88, dollars and that was 0. 0.6 acres 0.6. So if you're thinking about well, and, and planning, that parcel did not have waterfront access, right? Okay, right. So it and is it was, a, it was acres. Yeah, and we're point eight. Yeah, and with water, and, and I know with water. Right. So, and and the town meeting vote was specific in that it had to be at or above fair market value. Yeah. Right. Right. So, you're, you're so, so the assessors will go yeah. in and they'll have to tell us what that number is. I figure between 175,000 and up for that land. 175? Just a guess. Or, or more. To, to start figuring that way. Because we're right at, unfortunately, right at a peak in property yeah. value. Okay. And for the defined funding plan, we're not talking just about okay. the money for the for the land. So until we raise those funds, you wouldn't get it an assessor. In. Is, is that Correct. Yeah. We'd be looking for you to do that first. Okay. Um, some other things that we think need to happen before. I think Rich had to finish his yeah. thought. Rich, you, finish your thought, please. That we're talking about more than just the right. funds yeah. for the this land. This was just yeah. the first thing that we talked about. Yeah, but it, it, it encompasses it's more. the whole thing. Is Yeah, I mean, the defined funding plan for the whole project. Right. Which includes the cost of the land, and it isn't. I again, I don't right. know. We would want to. You would want to see that they have number one a plan to raise the money, right? A capital campaign, right. basically. Yeah. Do you are you, are we saying we that want to see have that to you have some have the money Do for we, the whole? What, what thing we're asking for is more? a defined funding plan. With commitment from donors, you don't have to have the money, but we need to see commitments so from the donors yeah. okay. for, for the for the whole project or pretty much all of the project, not just the land. So, so, so the idea is not just the money to buy the land, the money to continue with the whole thing or a plan. Maybe you'll have someone who go, if you get the land, we'll give you a half a million dollars. You'll give that. We'll need those kind of letters or those kind of plans. Those kinds of like a, a methodology up to where the money is going to come, how the money is going to come. And if you do have commitments from people, letters and notes from people, they'll say, yes, we're committed to do this. We're going to give you this. We're going to give you that. That's pretty much what we wanted to do anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a huge project. Yes, yeah. it's, 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 it's substantial. And we do not want to go and start anything. Right. And never reach our potential and our, our fundraising. Right. So in our last meeting, we had talked about right. getting pledges from people yeah, and not absolutely. collecting yeah, the right. money and then right. having to right. give, give it back. back or whatever. Right. Yeah. So we're in the due diligence yeah. uh, now phase of this and whether or not we can raise this kind of money. Yeah. So I think we're all in agreement that that's the yeah. logical way to to proceed and, yeah. and so and we have the methodology to get that appraisal yeah we, we can do that simply but we can do it yeah, simply done. but we need to have have some idea that you've got some sure. pledges behind you mm -hmm. before we commit yeah. to doing that absolutely yeah okay right the other the other things that we think um you need to do before the land is sold to you is that you need to um, have letters of commitment about access and utility easements from Tyrell, from the from the town, from the Golden Eagle. From the Golden I Eagle. I sent you that their email uh, from 
from no from the Golden Eagle. Uh, they got all legalese with me. And, oh, okay. Uh, and I think I forward. I'll send resend it to you. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they had their lawyer. Yeah. Um, who probably write their thing? Their and I'm like, this is beyond my scope. Right. So okay, I but it's, it, it's, I sent it to my man Mark. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We can oh, get to a point and work through all this stuff once we know where we're going with this stuff mm -hmm. and really know what everyone is going to expect. And it will make the whole process so much easier and smoother to go forward with it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to whether or not we have the funds. Yes. Right. I mean, exactly. I look at all these. Yeah. You, you need to fill the file with letters from the Golden Eagle and Tyrell and all that. Well, you want to make at sure at the end of the day, it's it. about. We yeah, have yeah, the money. Yeah, right. But you also need to know if you're going to have a functioning building by your people who are your neighbors who control the landline. It's a landlocked piece mm -hmm. there. And that that's, you know, we, we need to know that you you need to know before you invest that you're going to have rights to parking in perpetuity where someone can't, you know, pull them away three years later because they want to put a new sauna in. And you have a building where people can't get near. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you're absolutely right, Tom, that the, yeah. the big question is the money. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna it. know that because yeah. we're already starting to yeah. and our so authority to ask people. So. Yeah, and our authority runs out at the next town meeting. Yeah, right. but it can always be extended to, you know. Yeah, it's the next town meeting. It, it can be, be extended at the next, next town meeting. meeting but right, but that's kind of where we are right now. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's gonna take us time. Absolutely. So, I was just yeah. reminiscing that when we were talking mm -hmm. about doing a meeting house, I think the most we raised was $1,200. Yeah. And, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we I were up against. Yeah. Yeah. And we were up against a lot of feeling that, oh, we don't need another building in town. There's plenty of space available to do this, that, and the other thing. And I'm sure mm -hmm. you'll run into some of those same things oh, yeah. as you're going through the process. Absolutely. We already have. Yeah. Yeah. We already have. Yeah. So. So, so how how much are, are you looking for a hundred percent or fifty percent or how much money? Well, I th I my thought would be let's see what shakes out in the next couple of months. Let's see okay. where we are yeah. and go from there from a point of reasonableness. I think it's going to come from. I think we're going to kind of dictate that because you know if we are not successful right. raising substantial money, well, there you go. I mean, yeah. we aren't going to come to you with a quarter of the funds we need and right. say, all right, you know, we're ready to yeah. buy the land. We don't want to, I don't think we want to do no. that. Exactly. No, we we're and do you don't it, want to buy the want. land if you don't think you're going to have enough money to build the building. Right. So, yeah. right. so yeah. it's going to be kind of kind of dry here. Yeah. Right. That's why you don't want to set a goal. And it's going to take us a while. Right. So, I mean, it's not, yeah. but I, I don't know how much, how much you, I mean, do we want to come to the next one? I mean, so in other words, we'll let some time go and you're talking more about- Or this. once you have some good news or something, is there a few other things that have to be- <laughs> Well, we should probably provide list. them with the conditions of sale on yeah. a piece of paper. And there are going to be yeah. some conditions to, of the so sale. There'll be a reverter clause. There'll be a right of first refusal. Okay. Uh, and, and if you have- All the easements. Yeah. Yeah. We should get this in writing well, to them. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, but all of that can happen when we- reach that point financially but you need yeah. to know what it is before but you, you know talk to your investors you, yeah so yeah, your yeah you, know, you got two million dollars you you yeah. ought to know what yeah. some of the conditions are going to have to deal with yeah. Yeah. or the covenants and, no and, doubt and we don't want last. you to be surprised if you're right. wildly successful yeah. in so raising two million dollars you know mark can you prepare a synopsis for birdie and get it to her the things we discussed yeah that'd be helpful yeah yeah okay Okay. Excellent. Yeah. All right. I just think it was two different categories, right? So conditions so for sale and covenants. So I'm I'm yeah. going to get them the, the list, the conditions of sale, the covenants that we're that we're thinking about. And then you're gonna go out, you're gonna fundraise, and the next time we talk would be if and when you have the money to be able to come back and say we have pledges where 99% of the way there, we're ready to go. We want to get an appraisal and start doing the purchase and sale agreement for the land. Is that where we are right now? Right. Yeah. But also, if you have any questions, when you come up with talking with your people, this, maybe some of your contributors will have some questions and some uh, concerns. So keep the dialogue open. 
but I don't think you need to formally come here in, until there's some big things happening. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all around town. We can find each other. Yeah. Cool. That's okay. good. Good luck. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll get all Let's the little thermographs here. <laughs> there you go. That's, That's the right. Good funding there. Way to do it. Right. I'm going to uh, I'm going to skip around a little on the agenda because our department heads have been very patient. Um, and uh, we're going to uh, we're going to skip to the department head reports updates. Anything on COVID, guys? Just look around the room. <laughs> I think we're good. I think there's less than 500 total cases in the whole state now. Um, so that's good. Still vaccinating people, which is good. It's slowed down at the sites, but it's all, everything's looking good. Um, as far as the public safety department, uh, that's just about done. No. Colby is done on this EMT class. He's just got to, he's passed the practical. He's just got to take the written now. Um, he did very well. Um, kind of getting ready for summer, doing our shoulder season stuff. A little shoulder season didn't really happen <laughs> this year. <laughs> now the hiking trails are busy and we just, it's crazy. Yeah. But um, so hose testing, equipment testing, maintenance on the, on the trucks is all in full swing now. Hopefully we'll be able to get get that done before we start getting busy again. Mm -hmm. um, um, fishing derby. Had fishing derby. The first delivery of fish today. The second one's coming tomorrow. I put the signs up, uh, but it's closed for fishing until <laughs> Saturday morning. Um, how many? We had ninety on Friday. We have about oh, we're at, we're gonna, at least at 120, I would say. Yeah, so typically, uh, typical derby is about 125 on average. Uh, if you look at it, so we're, we're right on par to the, have, a, have a pretty good event. So, um, yeah, we're in two groups uh, or one. Uh, yeah, we do two different, uh, well, we do three different age groups, but the, we give the younger kids uh, 15 minute head start mm -hmm. uh, to start fishing. So, um, there were all little clusters. Yeah, right. we had uh, six applicants for part timers. Only two showed up for the test. Uh, so two uh, uh, have passed their uh, PT and the written test, and they'll be coming in for interviews next week. So, are these already peace officers? Uh, no, uh, no. We have one candidate who has a fire and EMS background, uh, uh, but one of the candidates has. I believe he's in counting. So uh, looking for excitement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe get out a little frustration or something. Here in Waterville Valley. Uh, hope not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was interesting on um, on Tuesday when yesterday when they had the community meeting, the doc was on yesterday and he was talking about the fact that if you go to the CDC website and you look at the map of the United States, the place that has the highest number of people percentage in terms of those that have gotten vaccinated is the North, it's the Northeast. Yeah. After yeah. Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. After, after Hawaii, Hawaii. Well, they get, yeah. They get yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're an island. And, and, yeah. and then when they look at who's yeah. who's got both shots, New Hampshire yeah. is a little bit Switch. below. Um, the rest of New England, but um, everybody basically is doing well, and that's good to see. And yeah, the I'm only very, thing I'm sorry, the only thing you didn't consider was the people traveling in to yeah, but Massachusetts yeah. was part of that group that was yeah yeah true. that that's very that's very vaccinated right yeah. right it's very it's vaccinated true. yeah a lot of, of uh, a lot of people um, skipping out on their second dose mm. huh. higher higher percentage than I would have thought yeah those lines aren't coming together yeah. very much yeah. I've been watching yeah. them over the past. Uh, thinking that the eighty seven percent is good enough I guess yeah, I, don't, I don't know I don't know I, I don't know. And maybe they didn't like the side effects from the first time. Yeah. Know. Well, it's interesting. The schools have had a really high turnout for people being vaccinated, the kids. Mm -hmm. 
for lunch. It's yeah. Yeah, yeah, the down the yeah, twelve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Robin's been going to the school ones and doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dylan, how's the sixty-one pages oh. of each? Yeah. 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 Can we go to Brooke first? Go to Brooke first. first. <laughs> yeah. All right. He's got a lot to talk about. Got a lot. Okay. Um, so just the Derby, we, we're all set for that. Um, like Dave said, it's it's I think going to be a really good year with a lot of participants. So it's going to be awesome. Um, so that's our big our big thing for this weekend. Plus opening boats. We uh, Tyler did a training with all the staff last weekend, so we're all organized to have a three day weekend at boats, and the weather looks decent, so we're looking forward to that. Um, the playground is sort of going through its last little um, <clears throat> discussions before. Well, we've, we've signed and we're ready to go, but now we're determining final determination of measurements and color. So um, that is going to hopefully be installed by July fifteenth. But there's a lot of different issues going on with uh, supply and things like that, they can't really guarantee, but that's that's the hope. Um, and then we have some adult and general programs coming out this summer, and a lot of them are in our calendar. So I just wanted everyone to know that if you're interested in seeing what we have available, it is in our online calendar now. So, so we have a lot of uh, wellness programs, women's retreat, uh, women's retreats, we have yoga, we have Tai Chi, um, uh, anyway, there's there's a lot to, uh, that's going to be happening, so check it out. Okay, do you have enough volunteers for Saturday? Um, we do, but you know what? We could use the Boy Scouts never responded, so I don't know no. what that's going to do to us. Um, no, we've got 10 from uh, Trout Unlimited, but yeah. that, that usually handles the measuring yeah. stuff, so... Um, I know with a few. So anyone who's interested, yeah. would like to help. We'll put you to work. <laughs> but we are going to we are doing all online registration in advance of the event. So that is taking out a bit of the work. We get to do most yeah. of the prep, yeah, which will be a little bit easier. I bet that you know we'll, we'll have to be prepared for some people not to have gotten that message, and we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, if you don't have anything going on, you want to <laughs> mm -hmm. help us register people. That's uh, eight o'clock, mm -hmm. seven forty-five, eight o'clock. All right. <laughs> We're uh, also planning uh, working on a national night out um, mm. for August, uh, working with Campton Thornton uh, and mm -hmm. us. Brooke and I are on that committee uh, for planning for moving forward like it's going to be a regular year. Mm -hmm. uh, we anticipate as long as the weather cooperates with us, uh, we anticipate it might be a pretty big event mm. uh, this year, but it's uh, the first Tuesday, August 3rd, I believe, and it's going to be the same location at the Sugar Shack. Uh, campground at Thornton. So we're still planning on that. Great. And uh, I don't know if you wanted to jump down to the school rec thing or do you want to go in order, Mark? The building no, we can get to, we can do. There's, yeah, we there's. Try and cover the things while you're here. Sure. So you don't have yeah. to stick to the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So as Mark said in the uh, packet, we met with um, John Francis and Gail and sort of discussed the impact for. The fall without COVID. I mean, COVID's been the reason why we haven't been able to do A, B, C, D, E. But now, with COVID kind of in the rear view, what does that mean for the for us in the building with the school still being at you know over max capacity? So, what we determined was, you know, it will be similar in the sense that we won't really be able to have running. We won't be able to run programs during the day during the school day. But we have figured out a solution for securing the lobby so that it doesn't have to be locked to the public during the school day. So we're able to figure something out so that people can start coming in to buy their maps and talk to us about trails and um, buy their fishing license and parking passes and all that. So I think it's a good solution. I think that's been tough for everybody not to have that access. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is what we have figured out about opening up. You know, it also had a conversation about how it's change the face and identity a little bit of the rec department because now we're really serving the kids of the school um, with after school programs and there's more opportunity for that because we really just scratched the surface I think of that this year the, the desire the need of what that can be for the fall um, but things like Massachusetts vacation week I don't think will ever look quite the same um, because we've got a full school we can't really bring people in during that week um, but our New Hampshire vacation week may grow mm -hmm. so it's just, you know, we're sort of trying to move and adjust and uh, 
realize that it's it's changed, you know. So. so is the school still going to be going through all of their disinfecting processes since a lot of the kids in that school are under the age of 12? Right. Well, I think they're just probably going to continue. I mean, I, I, I can't speak for them, obviously, but Wiley, I'm sure, will continue to do his duties as, as he has this year. Um, they, they haven't had any increase um, in, in staffing for that. Mm -hmm that I've noticed. I don't know what the, what the, you know, what the teachers are doing within their own classrooms, but I haven't noticed us any staff increase for that this year. So I would assume it would just continue as it is. Yeah. Well, mostly from the SAU. Yeah. They're getting there. Right. Gail, Gail did say that they don't know what September is going to look like as far as no. drop off, pick up access to the school during the day. They, they, SAU needs to, determine what that is. Now, one thing that they were doing all year, they were only one of two schools, I believe, in the SAU that was um, every day putting the kids through a health screen at the rec department doors. So at 8 a.m., all the kids would come through the rec department doors and go take the temperature and, you know, all that. She did indicate that she that probably right. wouldn't be happening anymore. Um, so that that was just more reason to have that that door be able to be open and have the public be utilizing that that space. Um, starting in the fall. It's, it's really a, a strange feeling to feel good about being vaccinated and then recognize we got this whole group of people, 12 and under, who right. little can't be yeah. little yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I know supposedly they don't get as sick, mm -hmm. but there also have been some other things that have been identified that affect kids and not so much adults. So I don't know. It's, it's a strange feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, the, the the gist of that is that our you know space is dwindling dwindling a little bit in the building for you know the use that we've been grown accustomed to. Mm -hmm. And that's just because of the larger number, right? The greater size of the student yeah. body. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. All righty. So now we're up to Dylan. Uh, sure. So Dylan, our received a 61 page proposed um, document from the EPA with regard to standards. And with attachments. With attachments. <laughs> of course. That's another 50 pages. Yeah, yeah. So um, Dylan, other than that, what else is going on? <laughs> you got good news, any good news? Uh, not really. The thing I was still persisting, obviously, as you guys noted earlier in the meeting, um, I didn't have a chance to update it today and look at exact rainfall amounts. I looked at it earlier this week, and just from 2020, we were still down to about 10 inches of rain. In 2019, it's almost 20 inches. So it's a huge amount. I mean, just looking at the river this time of the year, I haven't been working for the town very long, but the just two years I've been here, it's the lowest I've ever seen at this time of the year. Mm -hmm. um, so a different note, um, still working on getting a contractor to come out and do the work to repair that. Uh, we're all wanting to go to the So do we find out what exactly is wrong now? Yeah, there, there is an actual crack in the line. Um, it's not anything that is super major, by any, I mean, it definitely needs to be fixed. Yeah. Uh, we don't, the problem with that line is there's so many bends in it and it changes pipe material a few times that you can't get too far out. So we can't inspect the whole line. So in order to do that, we'd have to cut the line, insert a camera, and go on a straight section. It's just like four bends in a matter of 15 feet. So the camera just can't make its way through. Um, but short, just trying to get, right now it's, it's, it's hard to get contractors to do jobs like that because they're tied up in such big projects. That's the other thing. Uh, but other than that, really. Are you talking uh, about just I guess putting a collar around the one break or well digging it up. Is, is digging it up. Expecting. If you're digging it up, should we look at um that's gonna be the question. The, yeah. the problem's gonna be I the a collar could probably seal the crack. The one we see. The one we see. That's right. the issue. Right. Um, but we need to decide whether we're gonna expose the entire pipe because the material that it's made out of when right. we dig up where the crack is we'll crush. may not allow us to fix it right there. Right. We may have to 
pull out uh, anyway. Pull out more. And the there's a sag in the pipe because of the way it's broken. It's broken. Um, so that we may not be able to put simply put a collar on. And so it's broken, not cracked. Well, no, it's, it's cracked, but it's, what's happening is that it's pressurized. Yeah. So it's relieving pressure out of that crack, so it's undermining where the pipe is laying. And it's you know, developed. Oh, I've got to say, yeah. okay. Yeah. Hmm. So um, that, you know, I, as we keep looking at this, I think we're going to have to replace that probably, what is it, about 120 feet or yeah, so. Yeah, to that next valve. To the next valve. I, I would envision that we'll have to replace that entire section. And when we have it dug up, we can do it. Right? Well, yeah, but the problem is we're going to be putting new pipe on a 40 year old, 50 year old valve. Mm -hmm. And again, it, it kind of snowballs. Yeah. The potential is there to have to fix more and more as you go. The biggest problem with that valve is that there's nothing between that valve and those two tubes that's going to stop right. it. Right. That's the thing that we were afraid of when we're doing the work is yeah. if this that valve has it hadn't been turned. And, God uh, knows how long. <laughs> so when we actually turned it, we didn't know if it was going to hold or not. Right. So. <laughs> so speaking of the EPA. <laughs> so so that, that's the only solution, right? I mean, it's the new plan. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. So we have to. Keep everything else is a band. Yeah. Well, yeah everything else is a band aid. The band aid. The band aid. Yeah. The band aid may be a. That's the problem. Is we may. Yeah. We may end up you as did. we uncover this. Right. We may decide we need to put in an all new pipe with an all new valve. Oh. And again, where do you put that? How do you build it? So how, how do you down is this stuff? Huh? Um, it's roughly eight to ten feet. But the problem the problem is that where it comes out of the building where it's broken is only like four and a half feet deep. So with the cross line is deeper than that up here. Yeah. And that's why would they come out four and a half feet with a frost line? It's because when they put the line, the raw line in place, they actually cored it through the concrete in the wet well. So they just use that as a, a base. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it, that's why it's so shallow there. Hmm. It wasn't a good design. Well, here we are. But here we are. <laughs> so we got to deal with it. Maybe but they, on the yeah. on the on the permit on yeah. the permit itself. Um, there were there was one item that they told us in December that we would have to do that we are not going to have to do, which is winter ammonia removal. That's the good news. The bad news is there's about 15 things in there that they did not tell us about in December or more. So we're going through that and we will have a meeting um, with the engineers uh, Tuesday or, or Thursday or Friday next week. Mm -hmm. And we will um, come up with a complete list of the things that we are gonna that we are gonna uh, comment on uh, during this comment period. Um, one of the big things is the implementation period that we were afraid it was going to be immediate. It is. It's it's not tomorrow, but it's within six months of the issuance of the permit we have to meet the new standards, which means it could potentially mean if we don't get them to change their minds, right. that we would spend a lot of money on the plant, the existing plant, uh, keeping it in operation right. while we build new. So yeah. um, that's gonna be probably one of the most important uh, mm -hmm. discussions that we have with the EPA is getting out of that. Right. Dylan, is there an association that you belong to that is a resource for people who are dealing with this or have dealt with this in the last few months, or you can talk to them and go, yep, we got the same letter and this is how we resolved it with them. We proposed this, they took that didn't take this, but they took that. Do you have that ability to go out into the community and do that? It's, it's really not an association as much as just in different engineering yeah. firms that have experience dealing right. with EPA. Oil Tanner does have experience with right. them with EPA. And, and really what it comes down to is how much does that community impact its watershed? Right. And that's when you have more of leeway. So like yeah. us being small, we might not have, or we, we might have more leeway than something like Manchester. Right. Manchester. That's what I was kind of wondering. Do you know any operators that are in the process of dealing with this? I do know some, I do know a few, but the problem with EPA is typically when they issue something, yeah. even with the comment, uh, public comment period, 
they don't typically rescind anything. Oh no, we've had a damage. Well, and and Rich, um, Rich Tucker yeah. was telling me that his EPA renewal experiences, their community took the EPA to court, and they won a couple, but they lost more than they won. Yeah, and they spent a, a huge amount of money uh, yeah. on on attorneys trying to get yeah. the EPA to change and they were not very successful. So the problem is, doing and, and the, and the problem with EPA is when you went in court with them, your next permit change yeah. will have a more oh. strict. Oh yeah, yeah. So, oh no, it's yeah. 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 And my my very limited understanding of what you've seen so far is that there are tests that for instance we are now doing <coughs> once a month they want us to do okay. twice a week. Yeah. Or once yeah. a quarter that yeah. we want us to do twice a week. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's, there's so a there's a lot more testing. Yeah. I'm more concerned with the physical plan and how we're going to make make a plant. we hold on to the plant <laughs> while we're making a plant mm -hmm. and go forward. The, right. the stuff that we have to do in the future, that's in the future. Let's talk about how we're going to do this, how we're going to pay for it, and how we're going to build it. Well, right now we are in the process of adding a uh, source of alkaline, which may help us. In the summer months, not have to do bridge point chlorination, which is what you're raising. So, yeah, it's just a pilot and it's an idea, but it's the best option that we have right. currently. Um, and it's it's peanuts compared to what something else could cost. Yeah, bring it in to last a couple of years. So that's why we're starting there. Um, and it's just basically doing the best that we can without spending yeah. all those money. Uh, that's how we look at it. So, short of that, it, you know, it's the EP. I don't want to say they will allow us to go into the building the plant, but I have typically what they do is if you tell them, okay, we can't meet this permit with our current facility because of the condition it's in for safety reasons or whatever, what have you, they typically are lean lean on that. Right. If they say, know where we're building right. right. okay. yeah, we've got the bond as proof to stay. Right. We're, we're right. No, we went through that with the dam where they were right. really reasonable as long as we were taking the steps forward. forward. Right. Mm -hmm. And then if you would consent order and say, okay, well, by this date, we need right. to have X amount done. And right. then on this date, completion of the facility is forward. Right. Yeah. Just as an example. Um, I really want to try to steer away from a consent order because those mm -hmm. start to back us into the corners. Sure. And mm -hmm. I, I really want to just try to negotiate a change in the actual permit um, where they give us a little more implementation time. We can keep the standards that are there, um, but if they give us the time to put it into effect, that would be that would be helpful. But if we get a consent order to where really we're dead, because then we got to live by those rules. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other good news, Dick? Uh, well, other than that, Mark had mentioned, I think, in the packet they gave you guys that um, all of our permits are in for the uh, well, three, well, two uh, treatment, uh, well, water treatment building connection. So that's good news. We're just waiting for yeah. the approval of the plan by the state. Um, and then finding the workers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah and you know, getting you know, the bid. And you're getting the bid. You're better to bid, right? right. So, uh, yeah, I was yeah. really happy. We didn't think that the the uh, Corps of Engineers was going to get us the permit as quickly as they did for the river work. Um, so we we're you know pretty happy with the speed that they're moving. So if we get it out to bid, we have a chance to start that by September, good beginning mm -hmm. of September. That's and finish it this year or next uh, year? We won't finish it. We'll, we'll but if we can get the river crossing in place mm -hmm. this year, that would be huge. Then we can. Finish the yeah, because they can do in the spring conduit work and stuff like that all on the way side anyway. Control work, they can do that inside the building directly. Right. Right, so, mm -hmm. yeah. if there's a there, if there's a they there, if there is right. a they, right. okay. Right. Um, let us go back then and pick up um, financial reports. Anybody have anything? No, no pretty standard. standard. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, minutes review and approval from the March 17th, 2021 regular meeting. Uh, can I have a motion to approve the minutes? I, uh, I move that we approve the uh, minutes of March 17, 2021, as amended via 
Mm -hmm. And then sent along back to us. So mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. We'll second that motion. All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay. Our next regular meeting, June 9th, be in person at Town Hall. Yep. And are we going to go to once a month for the rest of the summer? How much do we have on the agenda, Mark? <laughs> we say once a month, with, we might have to make some exceptions. Yeah, that yeah. works. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so June we'll 9th, do. and then we'll do the second the second Wednesday in July and the second Wednesday in August. Yeah, it would um, it would be second Wednesday would be the fourteenth of fourteenth of July and the eighteenth of August. August. Okay, but again, everybody stay flexible because we have a lot, awful lot on our plate. We may need to have some special meetings to sign paperwork and all of that kind of thing. So planning water, board water meeting water. on uh, June 10th. That's going to be by Zoom. Uh, it will be, and they that should be their last uh, meeting. They'll probably go to a hybrid after that. That's what they're right. I, I know uh, Wendy was saying she liked the Zoom because she got a lot more participation. She did. Yeah. <clears throat> and last planning board meeting was very entertaining. I did watch <laughs> that afterwards. But it wasn't meant to be entertaining. <laughs> no, <it wasn't. laughs> but whatever. Okay, and we need to have a board <laughs> workshop on capital projects and staffing. Um, date to be determined. Yeah. There's more discussion about that. Uh, new business, the on-street parking request. Craig is not here. Yeah. Our next meeting is until July. Oh, no, you've got another. Oh, no, uh, sorry, in June. June. I'm sorry, sorry. Yes. Sorry. I was hoping. No, <laughs> no we, had, we had another one in... In May, right? No, no, no. no, no, no. 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 We this have two in June. June. Nine June is the next Nine one. June yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was paying attention when we mentioned that. Before. Okay. Nine and twenty. Nine, okay. nine and twenty. Do we want to you take want it up? Me and to just talk, talk to him when he, he can come in in at nine June. Whatever. Um, I would, I would follow up and go. We got your letter, but we didn't show up. Do you want yeah. us to continue it? Yeah. Right. He's not. He's not on. Right no. I will. I will talk to him. Um, make sure he understands that we want some movement on creating parking spaces where there yeah. are supposed to be twenty-four parking spaces. Yeah. Um, and and I'm sorry the group left. Um, the uh, the fireworks. Just confirming because you had put off till today mm -hmm. the decision on the fireworks, which I was hoping Craig would here so you could talk to him as well about it but 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 i think we should have our fireworks on july 4th okay and i think he's planning his for the july 3rd. 3rd so that'll be a lot of fireworks it'll be a lot, be of, fireworks. A lot of fireworks yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right i just wanted because we did we did uh, you did postpone the final decision to today okay at the last week well so, you know we didn't have fire town fireworks last year so we're right. catching up yeah, we're doing two because we're doing two. We only did the right? Right. But okay. I assume that that right, you, you guys are okay with that? Applying right. for a license and all that. Yeah, happens. I haven't signed cards permit yet, but okay. It's, uh, and his is back to be, back. I mean, he told us he told us that it's going to be the third. It's going to be a closed event and by invitation only to his members. So okay, like he did last year. Right. But that was 300. <laughs> now I think we have four. I think they said 400 when I paid my dues. No. Members plus family. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah, right. Yeah. 600 people. They're all going to want to park on the street. <laughs> they all will. Because it's just too first far to walk down the square. I always, I always say that. Um, it always amazes me when I see trash in the parking lot because this is one of the most active communities I've ever moved, mm -hmm. you know, lived in. I mean, people are walking everywhere and that kind of thing. I'm going, they can't walk from here to that trash can. They don't even start with people leaving mm -hmm. little 
dog bags on the corner of my property. Yeah. Maybe it's they don't like me. Yeah. I was gonna say, that may just be you. <laughs> Why do they always have my name? <laughs> it isn't a horse head yeah. in a bed. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. What about a short term rentals? Uh, do you want us to sign the tax warrant? Uh, yeah, let's, yeah. let's not skip that, huh? Oh, yeah, sorry. We need money. Well, okay, I guess so. <laughs> well, money. It's only two point seven. There's money. Sure. Uh, while you're signing that, Jim, Jim texted me. Um, doctor's appointment went very well today, and probably will be back to work by next week. So. Wow! Great. Cool next week. You practice that prison? No, he's been really? walking on it. With a um, cane or a walker? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't walker. know. Not a walker. Using a cane. I think wow! Just walk. Amazing. Margaret, did you see the U.S. Forest Service agreement? I did. I signed it, and it said right on that 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 um, once I had signed it, it went back to all the parties. Okay, I'll look for it. <laughs> it didn't go back to I all did. the parties. <laughs> do you I still, will try to find do it. Do you still have that? Do you... No, I mean, Maybe I think with Adobe sign, it goes away. It just away. goes. Yeah. Yes, it yeah, goes it away. Goes, yeah. it, exactly. Yeah, it goes away. So oh. I, I wanted to send it back to you, but it wasn't there to send. So yeah. well, that's the thing with Adobe sign. Most of the thing is you're starting to poop that more and more. Uh, it's very efficient and it tracks everything whoever sends it. So it's probably sitting in my cloud somewhere. So um, Dave is trying to work with them so that we can get that as a staff item and not have to bother mm -hmm. you with that. So we'll yeah. see what they say. Most of the towns they deal with don't have yeah. town managers. Uh, it's all the small small towns that it's they mainly do it towards us. I've, I've got it in front of me again. So I'll I'll reach out to you if I okay. can't find it in my cloud. Okay. So apparently it will let me review and sign it twice. It just <laughs> okay. Well, but great. then it'll just go wherever it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so now we are up to short term rental implementation. And as I said in the packet, I don't think we're at a decision point right now unless you want to. But um, we provided you, you had asked some questions, Mike, about. The uh, the checklist that Chris was working on, yeah. so Chris did that, and um, Tara got back to us and provided us with the application mm -hmm. that she would recommend we use. All right, now which one is the app? So the the application, the application looks like this. It says zoning permit application. Yes, it's that's, in the pack. That's too confusing for me. But she should should say short term rental well, application. Well, we, well but her recommendation. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, okay. no, no, you can so. Say that. So her recommendation is that we don't just do a short-term rental mm. application. She's saying that if we make this part of the building permit application and call it this zoning permit application, that we will cover all of our applications for land use across the entire oh, yeah, I know, I, I, I get to. The, the question I have, and that simplifies. Yeah, well, I, me, I was confused too. Well, okay, okay. But, but, because when I look at this, I go, "Okay, I'm going to be short-term rental." But this isn't applicable to me, right? And this so I get down to, to the me, ninth and thing. this isn't applicable to me. But, and I, you know, I'm I'm just not sure. Maybe it just needs some sort of introduction, preface, whatever you want to call it. Well, that would be that highlighted top. piece yeah, yeah. under instructions where right. we would write a preamble. Yeah, right. That or, this is a multi-use permit, yeah. which includes short-term rental and 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 maybe you permits. do something 
for people that are doing short-term rentals. That's a one pager that gets slaps on the front of this yes, saying, if you're doing a short-term rental, no, no, you need Mark, to pay I see, on this, I see your this, face this, this, on this, this, and I know you don't like this idea. Yeah. Well, but, but just hear me out for a second. Yeah. I think they're two, sep they're two separate things because it's not a zoning, per really a zoning permit thing. It, it is in, in the lines, if you take it from the planning board, I can understand the planning board's point of view that is a zoning. What, you know, I would just like to use the words change of use and adaptation of use or something like that, where someone understands I'm changing the use of my place or I'm at doing something differently as opposed to zoning. You hear about zoning and you know, I know we all know here that it is a zoning change that was made that requires this. Right. But the average person is, is gonna look at this and go, I'm not changing the zoning in my apartment. I'm just gonna rent it for a couple of nights. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not zoning it. Do I have to notify my mortgage lender? Do I have to notify my insurance company? Is my zoning changes? Well, how, how about this? How about, how about make it because it is controlled by the zoning ordinance okay yeah. so no matter what we call it no matter what the title is it is a zoning permit application okay yeah but what if we just changed it to zoning slash property use perfect permit application perfect okay. it. that's what that i want proper property use way, and then everybody knows they've got to do it no matter what they use exactly it. right and and so that way, because what Tara is trying to do for us is prevent us from having to adopt other enabling regulations, regulations right. no, by I, using the zoning I, I got, ordinance. Yeah. Yeah. That's I all got, I'm asking yeah. for, a change of use. Yeah. Property use is the same thing. Exactly. So everyone understands, oh, yes, I'm not using my property as I was. Yeah. Okay. Zoning property use. Right? But, yeah. but still, there are a lot of things that if you're right. doing a short-term rental are not applicable in this application. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. So, so is there some way to kind of cue people that are doing the property use thing that says, you know, well, short-term rental people need mm -hmm. to fill out A, B, C, D, E. Right? If you go to type of project and perhaps uh, highlight them better in some way. So that you go the renting out rooms as well. I like one of this idea. For for yeah. an example, changing expanding use sections one, two, three, four. Right. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna say. Highlight yes. it there. And then highlight like that whole section. section. Renting out unit section seven, eight, nine. Right, right. 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 Perfect okay. idea. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 Because yeah. a lot of this, you know, having a site plan yeah. review and a sketch and all yeah. not yeah. applicable yeah. to that, that that would be perfect, especially if you highlight right yeah. section right. the, the skip to sketch yeah. section yeah. fourteen or mm -hmm. whatever it is. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we will, we will all right, we will adapt. And then you're not gonna get a million phone calls at the front desk going. I'm just running out my place. Where is Which, my site plan located? Right. Did I get one when I closed on the property? Yeah. Did, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a good okay. question. What? Those are good questions. I've, I've woken up enjoying the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the checklist and I like yeah. the idea mm -hmm. of having the owner certify. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I would, the, the two fire extinguishers on the three to five feet off the floor. Is most people have their fire extinguisher under the sink, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is not three to five feet off the floor, and at least they know where it is. Right, which is fine, but if you're renting a place, right. But if you put it three to five feet on the floor, it's probably going to be in the closet. Right. It's not. They don't. People <laughs> don't want to put a fire extinguisher in the middle of the kitchen. They are certifying. Right. They're certifying. And is that the smallest out. one you can get? A three to five pound one. Um, I don't know what size, but the yeah. five pounders are just the regular, yeah, kind of like the yeah. bulk ones. Or the, you you can hide one of those in the I back of the kitchen, kitchen counter. Yeah, yeah. but but this it, this says it has to be three to five feet off the ground. That's right. The but kitchen on the counter. counter. On the kitchen counter. That kitchen counter works. And that kitchen counter works. Where it's I read the, the, the required information posted in what what is the required information? I mean, is there a form that they're supposed to post? Uh, or? There's like exit signs, um, as far as like an egress path. Um, there's, um, I think that each individual. Do we still have those fire pig 
magnets where you could put the street address, mm -hmm. the 911 address on those. Yeah, Maybe so we should give those to people when they like that emergency numbers. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, and instead so, of listing them all, right. we, we would have somebody ask. Like, what's the requirement? Yeah. Yeah. And a question about fire extinguishers. Not to have you change the format here. Can we put in non-expired fire extinguisher? Or something like that? We can just add to the end uh, in current. Just something like that, because yeah. we pull out these fire extinguishers, which are here from 1998. From 1998. Yeah, 88. Yeah. 88. Yeah. 88. Oh, my God. Well, you know what? There's lots of little gauges still in the. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you don't think. To, no one ever thinks where the gauges stop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we can we can add um, you know emergency numbers. Um, Nine one one address. Yeah. 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 Um, on number one and number. But it would be like the back of your hotel room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just that's, didn't know whether there was, was we were like, giving them something that said this is what should be up on yeah, the I, I think maybe an addendum that we take one of those from Golden Eagle or except you're talking about one of these single families where you which have their own exits. It's it's like you're going right out the front door. Right, but it, but if you give them this is the checklist of what you have to have available, not yeah. if they post that piece of paper, yeah. but mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, I think insurance job, companies guys. will govern. All right. All right. And um, the, so the FAQs, as opposed to the um, flow, flow chart, chart, and Tara did write to you mm -hmm. that she thought it was, she started trying to do it, uh, but she ended up coming back to the FAQ. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how you feel about that. If you wanted to continue to try to do the flow chart, no, I think. I think just change the same thing with property use. Yeah. yeah. As, as, as Site plan property. Yeah. Property use. Yeah. Yeah. To include additional increase outdoor use areas and no more than twenty square feet, such as for dining or recreation. Yeah, we won't cut it to that. <laughs> now here's a question: Is legitimate 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 making your rental legitimate? Yeah, uh, project for a minor site plan review or minor change of use, or is it full major use? Now I'm seeing this page here. Is my project eligible for the new minor site plan yeah. review? Yeah. I don't see the rental on this. Would the rental apply? Uh, because the rental is on the other FAQ. Right. This one is a business. So this would be a business owner, commercial property on this for the first one. And then the second one that has home occupation FAQ, that would be the one that that has the short term. Oh, no, there's two. There's, there's two, two FAQs. Yeah, no, FAQs. I, I, I have them, but I'm looking at this new minor site plan provision. That's under business. Oh, it oh it carries through. Yeah, to, yeah, it's that, part of the business. Yeah, well, the paragraph. I got to the paragraph at the top. Made it look like a new page. No, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. All right. No, my, my mistake. Yeah. Sorry. So actually, I'm going to change on the first FAQ. It's going to be business use site plan review SA, FAQ. And then on the home occupation. Business change be, of use. Um, right. Yes. Well, it's change of use or, or use. Increase. Or increase. So increase I'm just going to say use. building a business yeah. use slash site plan review FAQ. And then on the other one, it's going to be property use home occupation. occupation. Property FAQ. change of use. Yes, it, even though the people aren't changing their use, they're changing their use because they're registering it. So the, the reason we want people to get this stuff yeah. is because theoretically they're changing the use of their property. And they're changing their use of the property because they hadn't, were, they weren't allowed to rent it before. Now they are allowed, okay. so it is a change of use. I want people to understand that it's a, a change. Like if you buy a, a condo and you, you decide to rent it, it's a change of use of that property. It's not just a, it's not a property use. Right. Because everyone with a property yeah. would think yeah, yeah, it would be a property yeah. use. And the, the right. home occupation FAQ is oriented towards starting a business in my own home. It doesn't We've talk got about STRs. Just short-term rentals. Mm -hmm. Right. 
add it's going to be a majority of uh, right, right. Yeah. Add question on STRs to yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I think and spell out short term rentals short -term instead of SNR. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, at least. Uh, okay, I'll work with good on that. Okay. We ready to move on? Yeah, I think so. All right. Capital projects update and grant applications. Um, we have the application for the wastewater treatment plant is at uh, Senator Shaheen's office. Um, it's still being reviewed. We haven't gotten any feedback um, whether or not we're going to be selected. Uh, additionally, for the wastewater treatment plant, we're preparing uh, a um, state revolving fund application that's due uh, the middle of next week. Um, and we uh, will be putting in for the entire project cost $25 million. Um, that allows us to, if they, if we're, if we're approved, which we believe we would be, um, that would allow us to access uh, state funds, both for um, interim financing. And then at the end of the project, that gets converted into a loan. And we don't have to pay back any of the money um, in the interim financing. It just gets rolled into the loan. Mm -hmm. And the interest rate for that is 1% or less now for the interim monies, which is better than any bond anticipation that we could get. Strike right fast on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna get that in place, and um, we're ninety five percent sure we're going to be approved for that. Additionally, being a state approved project, if there's any additional CARES Act money that comes to the state, and they put it towards um, utilities um, and infrastructure, infrastructure um, there could be loan forgiveness. That is not based on median household income or anything else. So it's very important to get us on that list. Mm -hmm. Additionally, in the CIP, we currently have a project to replace the um, water uh, reservoir, the older water reservoir on Snows Mountain. So we're going to put a two and a half million dollar project in to the same state revolving fund. Um, and so that we're on that list, because again, it's infrastructure. Is that the tank? That's yeah. the underground tank. Underground when was that in CIP people? Uh, that's out in 27, 20. I mean, but it's good to get it on now. But it's yeah. good. It's yeah. better to get it on now. And, and it's, it'll stay there. The cares are, and yeah. it'll just stay on there until we do the project. Um, but that's the same thing with the low interest, interim financing, et cetera. Um, so those two are done. The, the or will be done by the middle of next week. The road project, I did contact Congresswoman Custer's office, and we uh, it is better um, both from the federal standpoint and from the DOT standpoint where we were approved uh, for the TAP grant, right? And we're being considered for the TAP grant for that project. Um, it's better to not do the work um, before the grant decisions are made. Um, so they have recommended that we not do anything um, until we get a read on those two, and which isn't um, the TAP grant. Uh, we'll know, I think it's September 15th. It's mm -hmm. sometimes so it puts it off for the year. Yeah. And well, but even, even if we started today, with the, the final engineering and everything, um, we I, we couldn't get a contractor to do the paving this year. They they are booking now for next summer. Um, so we're we're not going to get paving done this year. Um, or we can. You know, we can work with HEB and try to get it out to bid and try to find someone, but we would, we would potentially put that funding at risk. 
even for the minor repairs yeah. we were looking at the five or six um, rows well there yeah no that stuff i think we can do i i think we'll be able to do that i, I will talk to so some about progress getting that and there's there's some additional work like um we're gonna we're already talking to contractors to give us bids for the intersection of lost pass and valley road where the pavement is degrading and we have some um Man. some manholes that absolutely have to be fixed this year that we're going to we are going to get projects done but these major paving um, we just and the, yeah i'm just concerned that we added one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in there to you know hopefully be able to get a bid on this and if we don't get it done this year, we may be going back and asking for another yeah, one. That's hoping get it and maybe locked in with a deposit. Well, yeah. that's that's the other thing is if we then before the end of December get it under contract, that would be yeah. a good yeah. if they're already locking in projects for next mm -hmm. summer, we can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of if if they tell us you are one of the projects selected and you're going to be funded at whatever level um the federal folks figure out down the road and they have to do it before october 1st so we know we're going to get something this summer some decision and as soon as we get the decision we can get it out to bid now are we going for another warrant article for 22 on roads wasn't it, uh, it three years in a row? Uh, yeah, yeah. three years in a row, right? So we're going to have this one backed up, but perhaps well, we may be able to commit it, bid it out, right? And then we're going for it. Okay, that that was the, the point. Yeah, we'll be we really be able to both in one side. Yeah. I mean, it depends on how much you want the roads to. <laughs> well, that's a consideration. Yeah, yeah, of you course. Have people yeah. vacationing here. How much? How much work do you want to have done? I think the sentiment for the townsfolk when I got it is that the more Do done, it. the better. Yeah, yeah. The sooner, the better. Okay. How about our uh, legislation? Uh, still no decision. They are still in conflict. So well, they did amend the uh, the liability issues. They and did. They, and they so took, that's, uh, right. that's right. So this will, House Bill one eleven. Yeah. Yes. That was that was that, 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 that was something that the police right. were. On the police association yeah. was on top. So that's completely the liability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is dead. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. At least till January. I was gonna say this is the June session, right? Then they come back in January. They come back for, in January so they get another bite at that after. Thank you. Except the only thing was the the uh, public support was incredibly limited. It was just right. three, a few very powerful people right. who didn't have a lot of backing were the big supporters mm -hmm. of that. And they were supporters in a way where they, I don't think they realized the full implication of the bill. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and they, they, I think they jumped on it. Yeah. They don't understand the whole. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I, and I don't it, think the danger is as great. It was also, <laughs> it was also out of state support, yes. yeah. which pushed a lot of that. So it yeah. is yeah. not an issue from the police side. It is not right. an issue. In New Hampshire, we're all no, accountable. And, accountable, right? Yeah, and and actions. even for municipal employees, mm -hmm. we have laws in place that hold us accountable, and yeah. so it's not really a problem here in New no. Hampshire. The the um, right to know law uh, and and online meetings still is up in the air. Right. They have not, and, and the they have not voted on it yet. Mm -hmm. The issue of confidentiality between the, any negotiations between the town yeah. attorneys yeah. and third party, that's still in the air. That's too. still in the air. And that looks like that might go to a passing point. It may. Yeah. That's Unfortunately, not good. It's still not going well for us. Yeah. And did you, so you got my email back that even though you registered and it didn't show, it right. did. You, you did get registered as supporting the amendment. The amendment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Even though yeah. I said the bill. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Board concerns and directives. No. Okay. Correspondence. Okay. Do we need another non-public session? Um, 
No, I don't. Okay. I don't think so. Don't think um, so. Timing wise on the meeting, um, on the uh, personnel stuff. Oh, yeah. Pick a day, in other you words. Want to pick a day. Yeah. Let's pick a day. June uh, 9th. Do we want to meet before that? On that day before, I mean, before the meeting, do like we did today. I'm supposed to have somebody coming in to repair my dryer that day. Um, the eight, I'm good any, you know, any time with you guys, more or less. How about, how about the 8th? Let's see, eighth. What day is that? It's a Tuesday. Yeah. I would have to be in the morning for me. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. I think I can do morning too. By morning, you mean like nine or eleven, something like that? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock on the eighth. Nine o'clock on the eighth. Yeah, or nine thirty. I mean, you're talking about there's a community meeting that day, but that's not a big deal. Yeah. So nine o'clock. That's the workshop. Eight two. Personnel. You said nine o'clock? Yep. I put down eight o'clock. Funny, mine defaulted to eight o'clock too. No. That's... Spooky. You know, I actually put it in. Now, I know that it's the week before our response to the EPA, but I can work on that remotely. Um, so the 14th to the 21st, I put in the memo. Mm -hmm. Just didn't want to... Okay. Are you leaving again? Off? Yeah. How many weeks a year do you get? Five, six, <laughs> 20 years. Been there a long time. We can't let that happen again. <laughs> I won't be caring about it. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> All right. Okay. We... I have a motion to adjourn. I so move. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. aye.